Hello everyone and welcome to our virtual Messy Church. We would normally be meeting together for food and fun and worship and crafts. Unfortunately, we can't have food together, but we can still have worship and crafts. If you're a regular at Messy Church, you should have had an email with some crafts attached for you to do at home. If you haven't had the email, please get in touch with us and we'll make sure that you get it. If you've already had a look at the crafts, you might have noticed that some of them have got quite a bit to do with lions. I wonder if you've guessed already who we're going to be thinking about today. We're going to be thinking about the story of Daniel. Daniel is an important person in the Bible. He has his own book in the Old Testament and you might like to read some of his story in Daniel chapter 6. Daniel was a good man who believed in God and served the king of Babylon. But because he got on so well with the king, he had some enemies who tried to trap him. They tricked the king into making a new law, saying that everyone had to pray to him or be thrown into a den of lions. They knew that Daniel would never pray to anyone but God. And just as they expected, Daniel refused. So they reported him to the king. The king was very sad, but because Daniel had disobeyed the law, he had to have him thrown into the den of lions. But God protected Daniel and kept him safe. I'm going to read a version of that story from this book of rhyming Bible stories by Bob Hartman. And I'm really grateful to the lovely people at SPCK for giving me permission to read it online. So the story is called Dark and Damp and Deep. Daniel helped the mighty king with any problem he might bring. He gave advice on everything the king would set before him. But Daniel had some enemies, overwhelmed with jealousy, who made an evil plan to see if they could trap and kill him. The den was dark and damp and deep. The lions growled and roared and leaped. But Daniel got a good night's sleep, for God was in there with him. Let's make a law to plainly say that to the king we all must pray, and then when Daniel disobeys, our chance will come to catch him. For anyone who breaks the law will end up in the lion's paws, crushed between the lion's jaws, and that will surely end him. The den was dark and damp and deep. The lions growled and roared and leaped. But Daniel got a good night's sleep, for God was in there with him. So off they went to see the king, and he agreed to everything. It made them proud to think they bring their sacred prayers before him. But then when Daniel disobeyed and bowed his head to God and prayed, the king was sad and so dismayed that he would have to kill him. The den was dark and damp and deep. The lions growled and roared and leaped. But Daniel got a good night's sleep, for God was in there with him. So in the den poor Daniel dropped, the lions roared and licked their chops. And then quite suddenly they stopped as someone came to save him. It was an angel, bright and white, who gave the lions such a fright. He shut their mouths, he shut them tight, while Daniel sat and watched him. The den was dark and damp and deep. The lions growled and roared and leaped, but Daniel got a good night's sleep, for God was in there with him. And when the king called down next day, Daniel answered back to say that God had answered when he prayed and found a way to save him. The king was thrilled and so he said, bring Daniel up, he is not dead. Drop down his enemies instead and let the lions eat them. The den was dark and damp and deep. The lions growled and roared and leaped. But Daniel got a good night's sleep, for God was in there with him. 
hope you enjoyed that version of the story. We're going to say a prayer together now. You can close your eyes if you'd like to. Dear God, we thank you that you protected Daniel. We thank you for the ways that you keep us safe. We pray for all those who are feeling frightened or in danger and ask that you would look after them and help them. We thank you for our friends from Messy Church. We're sorry that we can't meet together this week, but we pray that you will be with each person and help them to stay safe. Thank you for all those who are looking after us and working so hard to help us and to learn and to have fun. Amen. So I hope you like the story about Daniel and I hope that you enjoy doing the crafts. Don't forget that if you want to share some photos of the crafts that you've made, uh, you can send them to us and we'll put them on the Facebook page or we'll put them in our In Touch email. Or if you want, you can take them and you can fasten them on the church gate and then anybody going past can see them and, and, they, and people enjoy seeing the things that you've made on the church gate. So thank you all for listening and I hope we can meet up again soon. Bye for now. <laughs>